Well, we'll see if we could have got away with muck boots or not, Chuck. Yeah. Better off safe than sorry. Yeah. Especially after all that rain we just got. Jack in the pulpits, holy smokes. Yeah, they come out in the spring, right? Yeah. That's cool. It is quite a bit early. Ooh, what's that up ahead? The roof bolts up there. Solid rock. And it goes as far as I can see. Keep the river running down this side. Still got some roof bolts up here this far in. Solid rock. There is a collapse that we have to go up and over on this side. Yeah, I think there's two of them. Last time I was in here, I heard that too. I thought there was people coming. It's creepy. Yeah, it is. It's like a haunted tunnel, dude. Oh my gosh. This is like, I can't even, I feel like I'm gonna fall over. I can't even pull my foot out. That's some crazy. That is cool. Doesn't it sound haunted, right? It sounds like demons and spirits and shit howling. What we're gonna do is we'll be completely quiet for a bit and see if we can capture that. Sounds from hell. Yeah, I hope the camera's picking it up because that's crazy. It is. It sounds like multiple people, like men, women, children, dogs. And it's... All right, well, we're going to try to keep pushing forward here. This silt is so damn thick that I'm having a hard time walking. And I'm hoping it gets a little easier up there, but it doesn't look like it's going to. Freaking deep. Very hard to walk. Yeah, don't fall. So hard to walk.
I'm gonna have to put the camera away. Oh yeah. Transitions into like the stone brick line, right? And right there is a vent. The silt in here. Yeah, feel it. The silt in here is relentless. Almost fell over three times. Every time I took a step, my foot was coming out of my boots. Going to reach, yeah, and hope. Don't fall. $500 worth of equipment into the mud. <sighs> After that brutal walk through all that silt, I'd say, I don't know, 150 yards. We found a set of rail here and some ties, so now I'm just a little over ankle, and Chuck's still out there in the heavy stuff. Knee deep. Knee deep. Yeah, see that? Wow, man, no. Just be careful. Because between the ties, it's still nasty. It looks like solid rock here going into stone faced. Stone faced grasshopper. <sighs> yeah, you'll definitely go over. And there's a spot here where the rail disappears again. There's a little cave going across to the other bore. Even the cave crickets are smart and stay out. It's that stone bore we just came through. Goes back in the rock for a bit here with some timbers. There were timber in this area, I'm sure, because it was a weak area. And there's a huge collapse right here. And an even bigger one up ahead. This don't look as bad, Chuck. Yeah, same shit here. Not as bad, though. The ties are like 10 inches apart. Would you hear how that echo changed? Oh, yeah. Not sounding good there. Huge collapse right here, massive. And now looking back, we can't see the end of the tunnel going that way so it turned here's a massive collapse the sooner we get past this point the better it's raining in here Doesn't look like it's gonna collapse anymore here, Chucker. That's all solid up there. All solid. This section of rail here. That goes up, I'd say, 30 feet. This is the first major collapse coming from the other end. And you got your rail here and then that other collapse we just came over. 
that big rock is ready to come down up there. <laughs> There's a big boulder up there. Right up there in the corner, man. When that one comes, forget about it. And we reach the other end. side now we're going in this side I just don't want to show the face of this side for certain reasons here all that rain like this here The ground is solid, man, once we get up here. So I don't think I can go back through that silt again. I'm exhausted. Collapse after collapse through here. Trying to keep the rain off my lens here is challenging in here. This is where it's going to get interesting, huh? There's a nice stone wall there.
That's so cool. Is that like steel rail up there, Chuck? Yeah. That's cool, man. The wind that's coming through the tunnel is like blowing the mist onto me, onto the camera. So that was a vent right there that would allow the exhaust to go out of the tunnel. Might be able to find that up on the top if you take a little hike, you know, if you scary. Don't want to fall through. I'll show this little cave over here. It goes over to the other side. And a nice stone wall. You can you can timber sticking out of the water. You want to walk through that, Chuck? You want me to? <laughs> you want. I think it would be kind of cool, right? As long as it's not too shitty. Cool footage. We're back into the silk. Oh, is it? Shit. Look, this is all. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. Watch this. Yeah, forget about it. Don't want to That's risk it. than ever. Look. Holy smokes. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Almost up to your crotch there. You don't want to risk falling over in this stuff because if your waders fill up with water, forget about it. You'll lose your phone, your lights, everything. That's pretty cool though. We just came through it back there on the other side. That side was living hell. The side's not as bad. And I believe it's because uh, it doesn't have the big collapses that allowed the water to back up. Echo. That's just gorgeous looking back. This is a joy on this side, it really is. I'm enjoying it. Thank you. I'm almost like hoping it gets deeper as long as it's solid, you know? Oh, this is beautiful water here. You know, we may be able to find something in here like fossils or arrowheads. You said you had a couple arrowheads, didn't you? No, I got lots of arrowheads. That's a beautiful stone. Polished from the water. <laughs> All right, well, we just got on dry land. Say we're about a hundred feet away from the exit here.